The epithelial tissue is also called epithelium. And this tissue is characterized by tightly packed cells. These cells are very near to each other. Basically, there is no space in between the cells. And since there is no space in between the cells, it is easy to remember that the epithelial tissue is avascular. There is no space for blood vessels in the epithelial tissue. So avascular means that there is no blood vessels. Now, the first question is, okay, how do these cells survive if there is no blood vessels in the epithelial tissue? And what nourishes the epithelial tissue cells is the blood vessels found in the tissue that is nearby, the connective tissue. And when we look at these tightly packed cells forming the epithelial tissue, we see that they rest on top of a basement membrane. And the basement membrane is what separates the epithelial tissue from the underlying connective tissue. Now, the basement membrane is named basement because it is at the base of the epithelial tissue. So, the side of the epithelial tissue cell that is facing the basement membrane is called basal surface. The side of the epithelial tissue cell that's facing the opposite direction is called apical surface. And obviously, the sides of the epithelial tissue cell that are facing laterally are named lateral surface. Now, the epithelial cells can be arranged in two main ways. They can be arranged in long sheets of cells, and that is what we call surface epithelium. And the epithelial cells can be part of the secreting portion of a gland. And as you can see, in the secreting portion of a gland, the cells are tightly packed together. And there is no space for blood vessels. Consequently, this is epithelial tissue. And when we have epithelial cells making up the secreting portion of a gland, we call it glandular epithelium.